Genesis 1, 26, minus 28 King James Version of the Bible. 26, and God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. 27. So God created man in his own image, in the image. And God said to his son, Jesus, let us create man in our image. Word image, likeness, so God is a man. God didn't create some little dot of a creation after himself, no in his image. Compared to God, Adam might have been a child. No limit on God. The earth was bigger back then before the curse and the flood man shrunk when he sinned. Even then he was a giant all ancient men found were giants. By our standards, the dimensions of earth were bigger. The glory of man made him bigger to fit on this planet. In God's image infinite beyond while the size of man deceased, his dimensions and consensuses, awareness, and inner man, was still as big in God's image. I think if we meet God, when we leave earth our dimensions become bigger. Because even God walked on earth. Adam might have grown taller. There is no telling what he could do or see go, and why he chose to commit suicide. And that is a mystery. We are in God's image. Just alike, he is in control. So when the ark was built, it was bigger. Three times bigger. Who knows enough to fit every animal? The cubit was bigger. They could have even had an aquarium. Or terrarium, big boys built the ark. Giants compared to us. Long time to build. They could easily handle the animals. With their knowledge and technology, they built cities before and after the flood. Giant cities. With electricity. Giant animals. Giant machines. The atmosphere was better. More energy. They could use chimerical that we don't have today to cut massive stone, with bigger cranes carts to use on the bigger thousands of animals, huge men, machines, and some of them could have left earth by their own means, before the flood, they had electricity, why do so many painting prehistoric records contain space flight in them, helicopters, how old are the pyramids around the world who built them, ancient astronauts. God is so big he created from in his image. He is everything. In our universe beyond. No limit on God. In his image so he is a person. Mark 16 15 and he said unto them, Go ye into all the world, and preach the gospel to every creature. 16 He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. So there are other creatures humanoids out there, intelligent enough to be preached to. Every creature can know Jesus, and get saved. That includes mixed-bred angels, humans, or aliens, or hybrids, creatures. But God created them, back then, and they are not Hollywood devils, coming from other magical places beyond. Us know God's creation, creatures hosts of heaven to. If data is created in error wrong assumptions missing complex important facts, and it's not a direct observation but an interpretation, and the theory and is made fact it's belief it takes faith, to trust in uncertain ideas, that's a religion. I would say believing in evolution, is believing in forced chance laws, Mother Nature, that's the idol of evolution just like in religion, but it takes more faith by chance luck. Having invisible, idol, Mother Nature to create everything, I believe in something more powerful, and why not intelligent, it takes intelligent, design to move the forces to make an intelligent creation and universe, beyond intelligent, beyond infinity, the most powerful, energy, the higher power, the chief scientist inventor, the creator, powerful being that we are made like. Professor take the forces, take machines use them to create energy, electricity, gravity where does it come from, other force put forces together, 
It goes on forever, never runs out. If the universe wasn't designed by the most powerful, we would run out of force energy, but as long as you have elements, you have energy forever as powerful as you can create to travel everywhere. All that power makes existence of the universe even emptiness as possible. And on top of that all life is complex intelligent. All things are. The order is. And God left one thing. Breaking every law. That to us all things are possible. To him that believes. Revelation 22 12 1 6 King James Version KJV 12 and behold. I come quickly, and my reward is with me, to give every man according as his work shall be. 13 I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. 14 Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life, and may enter in through the gates into the city. 15 For without our dogs, and sorcerers, and whoremongers, and murderers, and idolaters, and whosoever loveth and maketh a lie. 16 I Jesus have sent mine angel to testify unto you these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David, and the bright and morning star. Jesus is the bright and morning star, the best brightest star. In the heavens, I have seen the actually physical star representing Jesus. I saw a star in the daytime. I am not allowed to say where what time, or anything. It was a gamma ray burst. I looked into the bright light, stared at it. I could see through the light the heavens, and I knew I was looking to where heaven was in that. I can see God, and the light was instant not millions of years old. I looked at the star. God is the center of the universe, and can see it all from his created star. Heaven is a whole universe once you get in the gates bigger than ours. And that's where Jesus lives. And that is where I am going. Looking at it enhanced my mind brain. I can invent interstellar travel. That's no problem. I want once I go there explore it. Colonize a world nearby but outside the star. I want to start. A billion Christians. At the last. To come with me and live closer to God. On a planet outside the star. And witness to every creature in the universe. Genesis creation. Humans we are not alone. Right. 23 in the evening and the morning were the fifth day. 25 and God made the beast of the earth after his kind. And cattle after their kind and everything that creepeth upon the earth after his kind. And God saw that it was good. 26 And God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. 27 So God created man in his own image, in the image of God created he him, male and female created he them. 28 And God blessed them, and God said unto them, Be fruitful, and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. 31 And God saw everything that he had made, and, behold, it was very good. And the evening and the morning were the sixth day. Genesis 2 to Thus the heavens and the earth were finished, and all the host of them. 2 And on the seventh day God ended his work which he had made, and he rested on the seventh day from all his work which he had made. 3 And God blessed the seventh day, and sanctified it, because that in it he had rested from all his work which God created and made. For these are the generations of the heavens and of the earth when they were created, in the day that the Lord God made the earth and the heavens. 7 And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground, 
and breathe into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. 7. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground, and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. 8. And the Lord God planted a garden eastward in Eden, and there he put the man whom he had formed. 9. And out of the ground made the Lord God to grow every tree that is pleasant to the sight, and good for food, the tree of life also in the midst of the garden, and the tree of knowledge of good and evil. 10. And a river went out of Eden to water the garden, and from thence it was parted, and became into four heads. 18. And the Lord God said, It is not good that the man should be alone. I will make him and help meet for him. 19. And out of the ground the Lord God formed every beast of the field, and every fowl of the air, and brought them unto Adam to see what he would call them, and whatsoever Adam called every living creature, that was the name thereof. Twenty and Adam gave names to all cattle, and to the fowl of the air, and to every beast of the field, but for Adam there was not found in help meet for him. Twenty one and the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam, and he slept, and he took one of his ribs, and close up the flesh instead thereof. Twenty-two and the rib, which the Lord God had taken from man, made he a woman, and brought her unto the man. Twenty-three and Adam said, This is now bone of my bones, and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman, because she was taken out of man. If you read this story in order, you have two sides. One God made man described how he did it. Later, or God made man in his image, after his likeness, made he them, male, female, or a bunch of men and women, in the universe, others, made he them. Then he finished the hosts of heaven, and that's talking about many earths plural. Then the latter creates man from the dust of the earth, breathed lives into him, he became a living soul. But on prospect of day seven, or on late six day, planted a big garden, and Eden told him not to eat poison, finally made women of the man's rib. So are there other people, and hosts of space heavens everything creations. Well I will let you decide. All men and women are created in his image and likeness so aliens could be other creations. Variations of the humanoid form angels are too so mixed people. We who went with people, aliens or other alien people, could be even hosts of heaven as they could mix. So there are all kinds of forms of variations of humanoids which are similar to his image because they are like human. And God said preach to every creature, alien, human or other, realms beyond our universe, different, mixtures, variations, for different purposes, human aliens. So even angels are more complex. And they're similar but we the people are made in his full image likeness and someday will be made perfect immortal like him. Just like him. Clothed once again in the glory. Doesn't mean other people are in fallen worlds God came to save everyone. To forgive all sin paid for it on this planet not many for everything. For and he answered and said unto them, Have we not read? that he which made them at the beginning made them male and female, he may for this cause cleave to his wife, and they twain shall be one flesh. Jesus said in the begging he made them male and female, and for this cause they get married. Matthew 22, 2, 8 Therefore in the resurrection whose wife shall she be of the seven? For they all had her. 29 Jesus answered and said unto them, A to her, not knowing the scriptures, nor the power of God. 30 For in the resurrection they neither marry, nor are given in marriage, but are as the angels of God in heaven. So this question is when all these people die, who is married? The answer, no one dead can marry, and during the resurrection in heaven they don't marry. So they get to chose again. Say they want to go to the rule and reign earth, I'm sure they could marry on a planet just not in heaven. And angels of God are spiritual somewhat, but when we are alive in heaven, raptured, we get made perfect by the heaven atmosphere. Natural reaction, and thus super healthy made immortal so we won't be cybermen, or spirits, or even get a new body, Jesus didn't when he resurrected, but we will be perfected by super atmosphere. 
other things. So we remain the same with everything, including body functions. And it's our choice to make what way we want to be in rapture or marriage, and to collect the rest of our immortality life and grow. He made man in his image likeness breathe life into him made woman from man, made them as people in God's image likeness the breathe of life just like God's breathe of life. He breathed into them, which is what some call a spirit, conciseness mind, other which is just God's life in us we are his children people. God is everything, everything over us he created, with his voice. Some creation teachers of the Bible for origins of the beginning of our time beginning and evolutionists have the same thing wrong they believe to start the universe. It came from nothing a big bang either by God creating the universe or there only being nothing, or created by nothing exploding in the beginning. God the creator inventor whose everything had his own and lacking nothing being God, had his own domain, and Jesus was with him. Let us make man in our image after our likeness and they the Father and Son are men. When you have seen Jesus you have seen the Father, God both the God. So therefore God is a person just like Jesus. Or is physical. And beyond you can't limit God. And there are verses where he talked to Abraham as a man. And others Jesus and God as persons all through the Bible. Even tells the span of his hand. And people have described him. Prophets as a man, him and Jesus both are in the Bible as men. The fact that he could create a void yell into it, let there be light, light be and create everything, the stars, all the light, the universe. First he created a void, the heavens and earth and the darkness read Genesis and made everything, here around it his voice a powerful signal, a void creating matter, power, power which he used to make everything which wasn't here be creating the forces to create all the universe, fake electricity and real, and yet he had much more beyond us, which he lived in outside our limited worlds beyond even, he himself beyond us beyond time, no limits. Stuff that would make others living above this domain blaze if they knew him as God. So come on take it or a special person. Things beyond this one universe that God has planned for you bigger. Like him to be with him as a friend. Creating our own children. Grandchildren on. Infinite and beyond time. Distances. To see. Your DNA is different all living things have DNA but ours is not fully understood nothing about humans is fully understood or calculable complex is an understatement. So complex that God is the only one who could create life. Look at our brain's infinite eye cells, blood, organs, hair, skin, muscles microscopic, things complex, bones. Ears to hear, eyes to see, mind to think, invent, create, dream, langu, knowledge. In every thought unlike animals. Feeling. Senses, taste, touch, smell, seeing, hearing, sensing, thinking. Breathing body and connecting functions of hearts. Lungs to breathe. All working together. All the time. You cut yourself, you heal. And God gives us healing power. To go beyond. Today's normal. Healing ability clothed Adam in the glory, and in the garden women eat the poison gave to man. Deceived they were, they were told it suicided, so they were suicidal they could live never bring death and let the devil take life hostage. In Revelation says the devil lost the war in heaven, fell to the earth, taking a third of angels and the stars with him, and attacked earth caused a flood which the sons of heaven hosts of God made took wives on earth against God's will bear giants. Earth full of evil angels giants. Evil people sacrificing to devils. Witchcraft. God's forces fought them. In the The Colburn Bible is a collection of Egyptian manuscripts and latter writings about what they believed of God a piece of a record they had on Israel's God and others and praise writings by people in the Colburn Bible it speaks of a planet called the Destroyer which caused the plagues of Egypt as allowed by God. And other earth climates. People believe it be Planet X, 
another sun's planet system coddling with ours or a second sun nearby. And if you read Revelations in the Bible, the book talks about events which are warfare, but disasters that could be the return of something cosmic celestial, like Planet X, part spiritual, and Revelation talks about signs in the heaven. The Bible said there would be signs in the sun, moon, and stars, but Jesus said it is wicked to predict things in your life or end times by signs. The only sign in the stars is Jesus and his story he wrote in them. Matthew 16 2 He answered and said unto them, When it is evening, he say, It will be fair weather, for the sky is red. Three and in the morning, it will be foul weather today, for the sky is red and lowering. O oh, ye hypocrites, ye can discern the face of the sky, but can they not discern the signs of the times? For a wicked and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign, and there shall no sign be given unto it, but the sign of the prophet Jonas. And he left them, and departed. Just as Jonah was three days and nights in the great fish, and came out so Jesus was in the heart of the earth. Paying for our sins, that's the only sign you will ever need. The war is won. So don't believe in astrology, star stories, or guide witchcraft to follow for the devil's direction. Of myth. There are stories that God left in the stars. Mythology is a myth version. Your life is not written in any star, but the bright and morning star Jesus Christ. Fifteen and the serpent cast out of his mouth water as a flood after the women representing many versions of people, at a place not a time. People have theories of comets, hitting Earth, asteroids, pyramids, alien technology, breaking the ferment clouds, which might have been somewhat ice and the more pressure of air richer then, clear at night, and waters underground where aliens tunnel in storms, and the devil from space and revelations causes the flood. Something he did in space sending waters on earth. Revelations to kill people all people so God saved only Noah and his family because they were the only good that would listen to him. Everyone else laughed said it's never rained, never flooded before. They said there is no God. Rejected God all were wicked and would continue future wicked lives. So God took responsibility for the flood, for the war and only saving Noah and his sons and their wives, and all of today's animals in a boat, and plants, trees, seeds, foods, two of each, and Noah's sons, these were big boys, their cubits were bigger. The boats could easily be over 1,000 feet long, 100 feet high, and 170 feet wide bringing baby animals of each kind, and good scientists have calculated that each kind you could fit them on the ark. You don't bring every species or color, but every sort or kind of animal, as long as it can bred other animals, and God could have sent his angels to restore creation to help Noah and the planet after the flood, and seeds can still grow after flood. Once, dries out, supernatural power shut the door on the ark. God promised never to allow the whole earth to be flooded again all over the world. There are flood legends, creation legends, and earth was not the only place with life. Animals in nature's life, every planet, man, women with dominion and DNA is just one small thing. We kind of understand what about all the other things that we haven't discovered like DNA and RNA things that we don't have science technology to look at. The devil is still trying to persecute us, still trying to send floods, cast stars at us. But we are in God's hands. DNA is denonucleic acid. How many more intelligent things are in us by design with God's code signature saying we are his family. Everything is by intelligent design. All creation gets some creation sciences books and learn. That evaluation is a lie about chances. Impossible. Our universe. It's designed and not random, and works, for us, God's gift to give us all things, good things and to bless us if we just don't destroy ourselves, be good, prosper, be in health.